Welcome, welcome, welcome to Gail's Garden, Herbs, and More. Okay, right now what I'm doing is making some flavored um, sugars, which would be really good when you're in a hurry and you don't have to get other things. The first one that I did was, and you can't might be able to see here, say, ooh, what is that? <laughs> Almost looks like a giant spider in there. Now you'll never want to do this. Uh, <laughs> actually, it is a vanilla bean that I split down the middle and then I quartered into quarters. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that in the sugar and I'm going to have vanilla flavored sugar. So that will be great for cooking when I'm in a hurry and I don't want to look. I also have vanilla that I make too, but I just thought this would be kind of a... A cool one to do and it'll last and then I'll just keep adding sugar as I use it and I'll always have some of that vanilla flavor now that was a little heavier sugar this one is a lighter sugar I know sugars aren't the best things but I just thought this would be fun and um, flavored and easy to use because I do sweeten a lot of my treat teas and like I said we drink a lot of tea next what I'm going to do is I have some chocolate mint from my garden and I don't want to put it into my sugar and have all those little mint leaves mixed into my drink if I use it in my tea or whatever. So in order not to do that, I've got these little things called tea pockets. And this is what they look like. They're a little tea bag. And then you open it up and you put your tea in there and then you flip the top over and that's how you keep it inside from getting in your tea. Well, I'm going to fill this up. And if you can see, I don't know if you can see that on there. Do you see here that where it comes out? I'm going to put that in my sugar. I'm just going to put that tea bag of my chocolate mint in my sugar. And then it should give my sugar a mint flavor, a good mint flavor. And um, we're going to see how that goes. So that is just something I am doing right now. Uh, what else am I doing? I already finished the other thing that I didn't video, which I'll save for another one. And I'm going to be doing this. Let me show you something. Okay. I do want you to, I have been reading, not reading, but showing you these so that you can read them. And since they're taking so many of my subscriptions away, I had gotten somewhere between 70 and 100 and they've taken almost all of those away just in the last three to four weeks. So why they do that, I don't know, but that's more than they take for most people, I think. I don't think the rest of you have that many. Some do. Some have their whole channels taken down. But anyway, just some news I wanted. I can't seem to quite get this in the camera. Can you see that? Can you read that one now? I'm hoping you can. Um, just a couple things that I thought was really interesting. Australia has um, some news channels. I'm not really familiar with all of their news channels, but I know this one is one of them. Our main news channels will not um, give you the real news. They have our news mainstream have a um, an agenda and a story that they want to get out. They want you to believe that they're making up that's not true. And if it doesn't go along with what their theme is and what they are wanting to get across, because they all work together. And, um, yeah, they all work together with each other. And they they it's sent out to them what they are to say. It's not like journalism used to be. And I'm probably saying more than I should in isn't that cute? My granddaughter was here this morning. My little granddaughter. Can you see what she put on my board? I love you, heart you. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And uh, for homeschoolers, and I'm not homeschooling anymore. My granddaughter, I had homeschooled my kids, and I was for a while homeschooling my granddaughter. My daughter's home now. Um, this was a channel. But she not only does homeschooling, she does... Uh, she does some other interesting videos, kind of like uh, what I am doing a little bit here with uh, on the board here. But she throws in some other things on some of them. They've cut off. All, she Nobody can do. I think it's because of the children involved. She can't have comments, but you can go over Instagram to comment her. But um, yeah, she's her channel's called There's No Place Like Home. But um, just a little something to share. And... Um,
let's go back to the this is a watermelon I just want to share because I thought it was kind of cool duh this is a watermelon <laughs> no it's interesting because my plants I keep them all inside because it First year I grew watermelons here. The chickens I had then ate the whole one of them grew outside the fence and it was huge, beautiful, great big watermelon. They ate the whole thing. They had ate through a couple holes, stuck their heads inside of it and ate it. This one actually grew outside the fence and we found it over by the tree. The vine had climbed over the fence and across the yard and I just, anything, I hadn't even been over there because I figured anything there, the chickens, it was free game. The chickens didn't eat it. My chickens I have now. So, I got another watermelon. I got our biggest ones in the refrigerator right now, but we've finished off all the others. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that. I thought it was kind of cool. I got a watermelon. I thought the chickens would devour, but they didn't. Actually, I didn't know it was there this year. Um, but anyway, I will close with this short video. And just want to share these few things with you and hope you have a great day. Bye now. Ha, as usual, I am not done. I hope when I say goodbye, you don't all just hang up immediately on the internet because I always have something at the end. I had this sealed with my little hand sealer and to keep my dry chocolate mint fresh. So I had to go get a butter knife to open it. Oh, smell that. Smell that. It smells good. <laughs> okay. Now, let me grab my little spoon over here. I'm just going to get some of these. And stuff them right in there. Oh, I want to put lots. I love mint. One of my favorite flavors is chocolate mint. And that's what this mint is. It's chocolate mint. But I mean a cup of mint chocolate's really... And I'll tell you another wonderful, maybe even better than that I've come to like now. If you make a cup of hot chocolate and you put some uh, ginger juice from juicing your ginger or maybe a couple slices when you're warming it on the stove of ginger in it. You wouldn't think ginger would taste good with um, chocolate, but it is heavenly. It is so good. Oh, I love ginger chocolate. Okay, now, got that mashed around a little. Actually, I think that should be enough in there. Now, remember that little side thing I showed you? That's what I'm folding over. And I thought it folded, and I'm going to stick it in this jar... And then I'm going to finish filling the jar up with sugar, and then I will label my jar so I know what it is. But anyway, I just wanted to finish on that with y'all. And uh, this time, maybe it'll be goodbye <laughs> for a little while anyway. See, you always have to wait. I keep thinking of how to add to this. My very favorite flavoring is my honey. Um... This is real honey. Most honeys, people are cutting it with corn syrup or molasses is one that a lot of people are doing. Even people you wouldn't think do it. But I, there's a family ranch that are very proud. They've had honey for many, many, many years by us. Um, they don't even have a sign out anymore because they, I, they probably have so many people that buy from them. Um, Somebody was going to buy a whole bunch of it, but they were going to cut the honey, and she wouldn't sell it to them. She was, I don't want people saying, oh, well, that originally came from this place, and that's not very good honey. She wants them to have a good reputation. They don't cut their honey with anything. It's pure honey, and I buy it by the big bucketfuls. I save my money up, and I buy it. And uh, even this, even though it may cost a lot, it's cheaper than in the stores, and it's better honey. And it's fresh from this area, local honey. So this is my favorite flavoring, but sometimes if I'm baking or cooking or chocolate or once in a while just for something different, I might try another type of um, sweetener for it. Some of my herb teas, I don't even put any sweetener in it. They're just good by themselves. It kind of depends what mood I'm in too. But one way about honey that you can tell that it's real honey is if it sets for very long, it will start to crystallize and it's still really good. It's just honey sugar. It crystallizes into like sugar. And this is kind of, see, it won't even pour because it's crystallized. But that's okay. I just dip it out and use it. I don't know if you can tell if I open this up. But it's, yeah. I don't know. Can you see that? Can you tell how it's crystallized? 
but that means it's real honey because your regular honey has to stay at a certain temperature or it starts crystallizing and I think it just does anyway. But if you needed it runny and warmed up, I don't like to keep it too run, run, warm because there's good properties that can be lost over time if it's kept warm all the time. I like to keep it fairly cool so mine always crystallizes and I don't care. But if you really had to have it liquid, you could put this in a bowl of warm water and let it liquefy, but um, that takes extra time. And I don't care that it crystallizes. If anything, I may even like it better. So a little bit about honey and a little bit about flavorings. Now I think this time, but always check to make sure it's the end. Um, by the way, give me a thumbs up if you would. Thanks. Bye-bye.